Hey guys, it's TNN and today we're going to unbox and review the Jessboard QY13 Bluetooth earphones. Go ahead and open this box up. So we've got Jessboard written on here actually first. We've got Jessboard over here. We've got a QR scan over on top of here which will take you straight through the Jessboard website. And we've got some information on the back here such as the Jessboard QY13 wireless IPX6 sweat proof black new Bluetooth earphones. So let's actually so let's actually go ahead and open it up with my unboxing knife. So I can get into the seal. Such a tight space I have to say. So I've actually lost my other unboxing knife. I don't know where it's gone. Sort of misplaced it. There you go. Oh, how else do I open it then? Okay. Anyways, we've got the main box inside over here. So open that up, and everything pretty much falls out of here, I think. Let's go and move that to one side. And check out these things over here. So let's take them all out then, and move the boxes out of the way and the unboxing knife. So first thing we have here is the instruction manual. So we have the instruction manual here, so it's magnetic, magnetic inductive, so we've got chest bar, Bluetooth, headset, and it is in English. Pretty basic instruction manual. Always nice to have that, with that out of the way. We got inside over here, what we've got inside this pouch. Oh. Okay, that just fell everywhere, but we got some more earbud sizes. So we got small, medium, large, and then we got the caps that go over the head so it fits comfortably more into your ear. We've got different sizes of them as well, small, medium, and large of them as well. Next we have is the marker USB charging cable. So it is marker USB to USB charging cable. It is a flat noodle design. And this is sort of a small cable as well. Then we have the actual earphones in this pouch over here. Let's go and open that up without dropping it. Let's go and open that up. And here we have actual earphones. So we've got a cable tie over here. Go and untie that. Throw that away. Don't need that. And here are the actual earphones. So quite weirdly designed, I have to say. I'm going to go ahead and use these for a little while check them out and we'll be right back with a review, review video so stay tuned so here we have the earphones and let's go ahead and review these so let's first talk about the looks and the materials of these earphones now they do look a little bit messy with these caps that go around your ears and that does give it a little bit of a messy look I have to say like it just looks like it's broken or something these earphones so you can take these caps off and just use them as normal good looking nice earphones that do not need the caps on them so you can go ahead and take the caps off like this it just literally peels off and you can adjust it to your size as well as it does come with extras as we saw in the unboxing but the caps do make it slightly bit more fitted in your ear more comfortable and I did try a shake test with these earphones I shook them quite a bit and they didn't fall off at all so that's really good news as well but to be honest I don't think it needs a cap anyway these are extra attachments for your ears now follow the cable all the way long we have over here is the right the right earphone over here There you go, we have the right earphone over here with a small attachment already. On the right earphone we have a micro USB port to charge the device with a cap you just simply 
open up the tab over here and we have a micro USB port to charge this device. We got just bod written on top over here in like a metal design as well, very nice. And then we got quite a safety over here for the cable so it doesn't get damaged easily. And we can carry on following that. We have the remote control over here. So on the back I assume is a microphone on the back of this ear. Remote control over here, I assume that is a microphone. We have some of the stamps over here, the legal stamps, APTX, Bluetooth version 4.1 we are running on this which is a very nice Bluetooth version. We have the volume up button and also the next song button. We have the play and pause button and also if you press and hold this you can go into connecting mode and you can also turn this on and off through here as well. And then we have the volume down button and then previous song button as well. And just above the volume down button we have an LED notifier which will notify into blue or red Red meaning is turned off, blue meaning is connected. When it's flashing blue and red, it means it is on connection mode. So you can pair your device. Now we do have a thin cable, I have to say this cable is very thin. Not really the highest quality of cables to use. I really would have hoped they would have used the flat cable instead because this cable does feel a little bit cheap. Carry on following this side and we'll be on the left earphone over here. As you can see, this is the left earphone. Again, the small one on top. Just bod written over here. Now, they also have a magnetic feature over here so you can join both the earphones together into like a magnet and it turns into a hoop so you can wear it as a necklace as well which I think is a very nice idea because you can just wrap it around your neck and whenever you want to use it separate it and put it straight into your ear and now this magnet actually acts as a power button as well so right now it is turned off because both the earphones are joined together as soon as I separate it the earphones automatically turn on and the LED notification turns on as well. So as soon as I open it up, you'll go automatically into pairing mode where I can just grab my smartphone now. So let's go ahead and grab my smartphone. Go on to uh, Bluetooth and connect to the JustBod H1. Simple as that really. Once you're connected to that, you can start using the earphone straight. So let's go and play some music and listen to this sound. So I'm actually going to go ahead and plug these earphones in right into my ear right now. Okay, so bass is very, very nice. The bass is really nice. It picks up even the slightest sounds in the background, the slightest tunes, really nice high quality sound. It's nice, crisp and clear. Go ahead and put the volume up. That's max on here. Okay, that sounds really nice after. So I'm gonna go and put the volume up on this control over here. I can try and focus the camera. Oops, dropped it. So I can go ahead, put the volume up. Okay, it beeps when it goes to the max volume, so it's really, really nice. They're very very loud and the bass is absolutely really really nice so go ahead and pause it from here so I've just paused the music as you can see paused and if I press the button again the music plays if I press and hold the plus button it goes on to the next music and if I press and hold the plus button again go to the next song if I press and hold the minus button we'll go to the previous song so it's really, really nice to play this song over here. So I'm going to try and put the earphones near the camera so you guys can hear. And then simply close it like that and it turns off. Simple as that. So I think these are really, really nice earphones I have to say. They look very nice, they look just like the QY12s. If you want to check out the review for the QY12s, I'll link them up over here. They look just like the QY12s, but the sound quality I think is slightly better on these ones. So if you want to check these out, if you want to buy them, the link to buy will be down below in the description. I think these are amazing, amazing earphones. And for the price, the sound quality is very, very nice. And I love this magnetic idea as well. So overall score, I think I'll give these will definitely be 10 out of 10 great earphones well worth the money and as always thanks for watching the review don't forget to comment like and subscribe and peace